hi everyone so today i'm going to do a short video demonstrating how to convert an audio file from any format that you have into the format that is accepted by either my voice business controller my voice office 400 controller or my contact center for business you could be having your audio file in the format of a mp3 or whatever format that you have it but you have to convert it to wav so first thing to note is that if you are going to upload that file onto a my voice business controller it has to be a wav which is in these parameters it should be double c i double t u low or a low 8 kilohertz 8 bit mono this is very important to note and i'll demonstrate this as we go into the conversion process if i am going to upload the file onto a my voice office controller for instance the parameters should be wav ccitt a law you can see that my voice office is very strict it needs a law whereas you could see on my voice business it could be either be u law or a law but very important to notice that my voice office is strictly a law but the attributes are exactly the same which is 8 kilohertz 8 bit mono also important to notice that if i am going to upload the file onto the my contact sender for business it is very strict it needs double c i double t u law it is very strict it needs to be u law but the attributes they remain the same 8 kilohertz 8 bit mono and also take note that my voice business is not very strict it can either be u law or a law my voice office is strict for a law and my contact center business is strict for u law now we we move forward so for us to convert our audio file we need a tool so it can you you choose a tool of your choice but i can just give you a, a an example of two tools one is gold wave and the other one is jet audio cow on jet jet audio so i've got my jet audio already installed and i'll i'll open it up i'll run it but before that i do that i will take my audio file that i need to convert and i'll put it into a folder for instance in my case i put it in a folder called sample if you, i open it up you see in the sample folder there's an audio file which is called sample moh but it is an mp3 format so this is what i am going to convert to wav so i'll go on and open my my jet audio tool i'll run it now it is running now the first thing that i'll need to do is that i'll go to where it says convert here i'll click on convert then it's going to ask me to add a file that i need to to convert so i've already added the file here Okay, let me just remove it so that we edit again while you watch me i'll go and and select my source folder which is this one and then i can just drag it into here as simple as that and the file naming for the for the resulting the converted WAV file is going to be what name so here it says file naming i'll just keep the source file name which means it's going to be called symbol moh dot wav and then the next thing is the destination folder where it's going to save the converted file the wav file i'll just create i'll say create a new file in the following folder which is the same folder with my source now the next step is very important output format it's saying wav file here but it's not just enough for me to see the word wav 
wave and then I go ahead and accept and start my conversion. I need to check the kind of WAV parameters that are set here. I do that by going into config. And as soon as I click on config, it's saying convert using audio compression manager. Current format is ULO, 8 kilohertz, 8 bit mono. Now take note if I was going to, for example, upload the WAV file that I am converting here onto a my voice office controller. Was it strict for ALO? And my tool is set for ULO right now. The format will be rejected by my voice office, which means I'll then need to go and change by select our format and change from ULO to ALO. But in our case, because we are going to upload onto the My Voice business, it doesn't matter. So I'll just stick with the A law because it is not strict. Then I'll say OK. And then I'll say OK again. So it is very important to check what parameters are set for your WAV conversion. Do not just see that it is a train WAV here and then you carry on to convert without double checking. So now that we have double checked and we are happy with the parameters that are being converted to, we go and click on start. It starts to convert as you can see the, the progress there. And then at this point, I'll click no. Do you want to add a new file to an album? I'll say no, because I'm done. And already if I check in my folder again, I can see the symbol moh.wave that is already been converted. And I can go ahead and close my two. And I go ahead and close my two. And I am done. That's all. Thank you for watching.